stop doing that for you guys trying to join the military army specifically army I, we're gonna today we're gonna be talking about army basic training oh man that was a long time ago but i remember it like it was yesterday Ooh, this is about to be a very, very interesting video. So you guys make sure you stay tuned and throughout the whole entire video, and we're gonna tell you exactly what to expect that basic training, uh, how long it is and everything like that, right? All right, so make sure you guys um, just stay tuned. All right, now we just transitioned into the video, right? Um, so basic training is basically 10 weeks of hardship hardship and it is developed for you guys to transition from becoming a civilian into soldier life everybody say soldier life with me soldier life which is what we are in right now um last time i went to basic training was like three years ago that's the only time i went and that's the only time that i want to go uh right uh, but basically the duration of uh basic training is typically 10 weeks unless you um are in osa osa is another uh basically term for you're basically doing um a component that's uh emerges your ait and basic training together right so that's that's basically what osa is a lot of um the people who are doing osa are more like field um units um so basically right they're field units and stuff like that uh so when if you are going to osa it's just very long, right? And it's normally gonna be at Fort Benning where everybody's doing that stuff at. And yeah, you're just more like a, a grant, depending on your MOS and stuff like that. If you're doing ba regular basic training, it's normally gonna be 10 weeks there. And then it's gonna be 10 weeks in um, AIT, basically where you actually learn your MOS skills and stuff like that. So what does basic training compose of? <laughs> let's get right into it guys so um basic training composed of a lot of physical fitness getting you guys uh strong mentally and physically it composes of weapons training right uh you have to do a lot of uh drill and ceremony you have to do a lot of combat and you have to do a lot of uh, field training and obstacle courses and whatnot so basically um you guys are basically gathered upon going a bus do, 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 do the the bus typically it's like nighttime that you guys go i went through when it was like night and everybody got in we're all comfortable on this bus just driving down to my basic training uh which mine was in Fort Sill, oklahoma um so we basically got out of the bus and everything like that yes you do hear drill sergeants just going crazy like hey you who are you looking at what are you doing out here blah blah, blah, blah. give me 10 blah, blah blah they're just talking smack talking trash to you left and right left and right you're like whoa what just happened like how did i get here what am i doing um you get you know you get pretty scared and stuff like that you know i wasn't scared but you know some people do get scared um and basically you just go through that process where they, they just kind of want to put some fear into you sometimes i've heard some people uh it was pretty much good they just told them to go into a classroom and basically get their paperwork and everything figured out like how you would expect normally um but yeah for me it was like that and then we went into a classroom like me i want to say like 30 minutes afterwards um basically they gave us this big bucket we threw our phones in there um well we put it we put our names on in a plastic bag basically threw our belongings in there wrapped it and then it went to a safe lock box so like a big black safe lock box and everything like that before that actually we had to call our uh, parents let them know they gave us like a script to read bro that shit was it was weird um they gave us a script to read and we uh basically read it off to our parents and it was it was awkward and then you know did that they gave us some food afterwards and then um they gave us our ocp uniforms and stuff like that it was like the ocp uniform and everything like that it doesn't even fit you it's just like a random one that they give uh to everyone and then they hand out your pt uniform and everything else that's basically what they do on that first day and then to end off the night you basically go to your uh 
you're assigned barracks room and this is you're gonna be assigned with people that you barely know right you don't even know these people at all uh people from different walks of life different ethnicities different backgrounds and everything all the source whatever you see yeah uh, you know you know um and it's gonna be males and females at least for me in my experience this is only three years ago hopefully it didn't change hopefully covid didn't change that but that's how that stuff went guys um and then the next day basically you they go through the process getting smoked blah, blah blah but you actually do a lot of medical work you take care of a lot of your uh medical paperwork while you're in it so you walk the, uh you're walking in a formation and everything like that uh left right left left right left and then basically you start they start teaching you the cadences and everything like that um that's your drill sergeants that's basically doing that stuff for you so you go in and basically they teach you they you're, you're basically waiting you're waiting in what's called uh reception for that time period what's up man oh my gosh this man really tried to hide we saw you we all saw you peter um so you wait in what's called reception and reception is very boring this is where you know they go ahead and chop your hair off they go ahead and you know do all the stuff that they do um to you know fit you guys into the mold that they want you to fit you guys and then the first day um well th the first oh the first day 